Hey, man. Oh, hey. I have some slugs for you. Oh, cool. Thanks. What caliber? 50. Nice. What are they called? Oh, don't be ridiculous. What are they called? It's okay. He can handle names of slugs. Come on. You sure? Yes, yes. Jesus, what are they called? Good day, folks. Welcome back to my channel. And as always, thank you so much for watching. So if you really have a message to convey to your home invaders, um, I might have the perfect slug for you. Fuck you slugs by Tech23. So Tech23 is a German company uh, who makes a lot of uh, cool slugs and accessories as well. They sent me this really cool box a few months ago. Um, I want to say I'm really sorry to Stefan for taking so long to go through it to be able to shoot all the projectiles and accessories that he sent uh, but I promise you Stefan that I will uh, shoot every single uh, thing that you sent me um, we already saw these uh, 68 caliber uh, shot shells for the HDS 68 really really cool we also shot these already the 68 caliber metal plastic slugs made great great damage and today we are going to look at these fu slugs as well we're going to also use this uh, double mag holder um, it's pretty cool you attach it under you attach it on the rail under your gun to hold extra magazines and today we'll also use the silencer that was made by uh, tor sekev as always all the links uh, will be below in the description um, I've used this before, I mean, I've reviewed this before, and uh, I have to say it is very, very helpful, especially for me that I have so many uh, neighbors all around. Um, basically, this reduces the, the noise from a bang to a click. Um, I'm no expert in sound, but I would say it does indeed reduce this, the noise of about 50%. So we'll be using this as well. But before I assemble everything, let's weigh these 50 caliber FU projectiles. So as you can see, these 50 caliber projectiles um, are made out of uh, 3D printed plastic uh, with a, a large size BB inside. They feel really, really light. Uh, well, not, eh, about almost three grams. That's a good weight for 50 caliber. Oh, perfect, look at that. They're both 285. All right, let's start with mounting our rail. Uh, to do so, we insert this little piece of plastic that comes, um, obviously that comes with the silencer. Uh, you insert it in the bottom rail. It has this small nut to which you then slide over, slide over. The silencer. Small screw. We'll now attach our mag holder, which actually goes on the rail of the suppressor. Our goal today is to impress or stamp these words onto our targets. 
And to do so, we're gonna start with our usual chrono test. This two and a half uh, gallon uh, plastic water jug will catch the bullets. We'll then pass on to this metal uh, oven steel sheet. This very hard skinned butternut squash. And finally, we'll hope to stamp this rubber mannequin head. All right, time to gas up. Oh no, look at that. I am low on CO2. Well, good thing I bought more. So I seem to have angered uh, a few people with one of my recent videos where I compared the, the new HDR68 with the HDR50 here. Um, I know that because it's the, one of the videos with the most thumbs down, with the most dislikes. I think I have seven in total. Um, and I also got some angry comments. So let me just say that I do agree that this gun seems to have lost uh, power. I had bought it. Uh, as an original, uh, originally I had bought it as an 11 joules version. Uh, it was already modified from the store where I bought it from. I then sent it to another shop to be modified to 20 joules. And ever since, it has not had the same punch. So we're gonna again do a chrono test. Uh, I wanna also do the calculation of the joules power uh, to see where it stands at the moment. So again, we have uh, projectiles are 2.85 grams and let's see how many feet per second they'll fly at. Uh, again, to do the little formula and see how many joules uh, this gun is shooting at the moment. Uh, sorry, Runa Rebel, for uh, doing your job for you this time, but again, I'm really curious to see uh, what power this gun has right now. All right, well, let's see the penetration. Ooh, look at that. We stamped our first target already. Nice. So all the projectiles entered. Uh, none of them though came out the other side. So let's calculate the power. Let's say uh, the projectiles, I would say they flew all at around, at an average of 500 feet per second. Um, the project says we're 285 uh, grams, so that makes it about 33 joules of power. Which is not that bad because technically this gun was modified to 20 joules. Well, impressive, but no impressions. How about this side? Hmm, are you guys able to read anything in there? Well, no impression from these guys, they just directly penetrated. Well guys, that was extremely disappointing. Not a single F, not a single U, not a single C, and not a single K was stamped on either. I shot both the face, which is rubber, 
and I shot the body, which is fiberglass, no impressions there. Well guys, very fun little 50 caliber slugs. Uh, perhaps a must have uh, to keep in your fun ammo stash. Um, it was cool to see how uh, they basically double hit, um, if you will, the, how the, the metal BB separated from the plastic casing and they both hit the target pretty hard. The only test I haven't done, which is a test I will never do, is uh, a human test. I haven't you know, shot this on anybody. I am curious to see uh, if indeed this does stamp on someone's skin uh, if shot at. But anyway, we'll never know, at least on this channel. Um, they are, I have to say, they're not very aerodynamic, uh, given that they obviously have a stamp in the front, but I do think that the metal BB, the metal ball inside, does give that extra push. Um, so again, very, very fun uh, project tiles. I'm really bummed that we weren't able to uh, imprint the mannequin, which I've been saving uh, specifically for this, for this test. So for the next video, which is not going to be next week, it's gonna be the week after that, we're gonna pump this thing up. Um, I've been sent from Tursekev, which is the same company that makes the silencer. I've been sent this cool XM4 mount for the HDR50. And we'll also have a look at this scope that was sent to me from Easy Shoot uh, to show all you guys. Um, but to be honest, I know very, very little about optics. So I'm gonna do some research and hopefully with your help, we'll see if this medium, medium price range uh, scope is right for you or not. And in order to calibrate the scope, once again, I'm going to test this uh, laser bore sighter that was also sent to me uh, by Mid-10. Uh, again, we'll put these two together and uh, see how well they calibrate and how well they work at long distance. The maximum I can go in my alley is 30 feet. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, please do click that like button. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet. Uh, as I said, I will be skipping next week, um, so the next video will be in uh, two weeks' time. Uh, thank you for your patience, and I will see you then.